Hello! I would like to welcome you to Monday Matinee where I'm going to show you a card to make with Betsy's Blossoms. This is the card we're going to make. This is the Betsy's Blossom stamp set. And we're also, the little saying is going to be done with our Petite Pears stamp set, which is a fun stamp set. They're small, they go in cool places. Anyway, first we're going to start out with um, our five and a half by eight and a half cardstock folded in half. And I have pre cut this with the edgelets dies um, for Sizzix and for our big shot. And these are made exclusively for stamping up. And with this one um, and the adorning accents, you get these two dies. Now I'm going to refer, there will be a link to where you can see how to use these dies since Stampin' Up! has already made a great video. I'm not going to duplicate it by doing another one, so I'll just provide a link for you to learn how to use these. Um, so we're going to take our piece here and we're going to place this on top, on the front of our card. And then we, I'm using the Floral District Designer Series paper, and I'm taking my snail and just going to apply that on top here. Now we're going to take, um, out of Betsy's Blossoms, we have um, this kind of vine leaf, and I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp it kind of so it's going off into the corner like that. And then I'm going to take our rich razzleberry and I'm going to stamp the bird sitting right on top of the branch like that. You're going to stamp another bird on another piece of Whisperite cardstock and from that one you're just going to cut out this little wing. Now I've pre-cut it because you really don't care to watch me cut it out I'm sure. We're going to apply this to a piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. The Whisper White is two and a half by two and a half and the rich Razzleberry is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Now, remember I told you in previous videos, the important part is to burnish that snail, and that's what's going to give you a really good adhesive. We're going to take this, and we're going to run snail on each side, and you're going to place that on your cardstock like this. And Stampin' Up! has these incredible little dimensionals. I absolutely love these because you can use all of them. They're just the perfect thickness for giving your card a little dimension and we're just going to stick that little wing on top which is going to give your project some added dimension. Now we could leave it, you know, it's a perfectly fine card that way but I have taken, these are the new slides that are in the holiday um, catalog and I have ran through our quarter inch stripped ribbon, grosgrain ribbon stitched along with the ruffled in color Lucky Limeade and I'm going to take a glue dot and just put on here I'm going to stick that down like this and then I'm going to take another glue dot and adhere it right here and we're going to put that on there take another glue dot we're going to put that on top we're going to Pull this ribbon right like that. And rather than tucking it behind the paper here, I just kind of chose to trim it. So we're going to just take our scissor and we're going to just trim it off like that um, to give you that look. And for our saying, I've stitched or stamped Happy Birthday Wishes and Rich Razzleberry on our Daffodil Delight cardstock, taking our large oval punch. Again, I'm going to stick a little dimensional on the back of that and I'm just going to place that in the corner here. And there you have it. This is Betsy's Blossom. This is the 
featured stamp of the month this month so if you tune into my blog you'll be able to see a lot of more examples of how to use this card throughout the month of August. Hope to see you there.